I'm live. Um, what's up, fellas? This is the first time that I've done a video like this. A little uh, nerve wracking, but let's see. Uh, let me get this chat set up. Okay, what's up? Oh, sorry, hold on two seconds, guys. Just trying to get the chat. Here we go. Okay, triple DCC. <laughs> I don't know if it's a triple. Um, it seems like it might be a twin. I think I think we think it's a new motor. Obviously, they got to do something to, to compete with uh, with Can Am. Uh, all in off road. What's up, dude? Uh, okay. So hopefully, can you guys hear me? Okay. Is everything is the quality decent? Uh, like I said, I've never done this before, but hopefully it's good. I'll try to speak up a little bit. I'm just doing it. Okay. Cool. Um, so I just made a quick list of things we could talk about. Uh, I thought it'd be fun just to kind of speculate. I know what you guys know. I don't know crap right now. So um, I have, I mean, I've got some rough ideas, but I don't know. I don't have any like super inside knowledge, which means I can do a video like this because I don't know crap. Um, um, okay, so uh, we know there's some new machines coming out. Um, the Turbo S, the, the newest, baddest, coolest model, do you guys think it'll be called a Turbo S? I kind of wonder if it will be a totally new name. So that was the first thing I had on my list. I don't know if they'll call it a Turbo S, um, but we will see. Will it be a whole new chassis? That's the other thing I'm kind of, it looks like it is when we, you've seen the picture of the lights and it looks like a whole new chassis. So that will be pretty cool. Um, I wonder, I wonder how crazy it'll be. I wonder if it'll be similar dimensions to the last one, if they've really gone like super nuts, you know, I do love how the X3 chassis and the, and the Polaris chassis are kind of different. It's kind of cool to have like the Polaris be kind of more of that like rugged truck and the X3 is kind of a little bit more of that like doom that dune buggy kind of look, which I think is cool. Well, the chassis is like the X3. So you, they, you think they're gonna do a whole new assembly line style, like computer chassis, huh? Uh, it's probably cheaper to do it that way. Cause I think Polaris, you know, they just had, they did it a little bit more assembly style and it was probably, probably a little bit harder for them. The one thing with the Polaris chassis though, on the Turbo S, I do think that the current chassis, ventilated seats, uh, yeah, that's what we need. That's what everybody needs in their, in their new side-by-side -side is some, some AC seats. Actually, that's funny because I was thinking about a way to cool down the air that comes into my air pumper. And I thought it'd be awesome to have like some kind of, uh, um, some kind of AC, uh, air pumper. So I was thinking like a cooler, I'm going to probably work out, but probably a cooler, have one of your air pumper hoses go into the cooler with a bunch of ice and then come out the other side and into your helmet would be pretty sick to cool down that air. But uh, all right, let's get back on topic. So looks like it's a whole new chassis and I'm kind of wondering what is new. So will I have a new motor? I think the answer to that is yes. 200 horsepower. I kind of wonder, you guys think they're going to top Can-Am or do you think Can-Am actually kind of got the jump on them, found out that what they were coming out with and maybe beat them on the horsepower game? I don't know if it's going to be 200. I know it's going to be new and I know it's going to be more power, but let's just put our numbers out there and when it hits on Sunday, we'll find out. But I kind of, I want to say that it's going to be under 195. I, don't, I think they're going to save, some, you know, if you look at manufacturers, they try to save something for next year. So I think they'll come out with this new motor and then they'll stage upgrades in it. So I think, I think you're going to be like 190, 185. And then next year they'll be like, we bumped the power 10 horsepower, right? So they're going to leave some room to grow. 
It'll probably have some good tuning capability, but I kind of think it'll be lower than 195, but we'll see. I mean, if it's a 200 mark, I'm freaking stoked. I'd be, I'd be happy. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking my prediction is a twin, a new twin turbo. It's going to be, it's going to be a thousand cc's. I've heard people put like throw around, um, like the slingshot motor stuff. That's that motor's too big and too heavy. It takes up too much space. They're not going to use that. It's an Ecotech. It's a two liter motor. It's not going to work. Uh, let's see. Last six. Yeah. If you know what it is, just don't tell me. I don't even, I don't, I don't really want to know till Sunday, but it does seem like, um, let's see. So yeah, my horsepower predictions like 185, 190. Um, transmission. So Man, if they got a new transmission, if they have a new DCT and it's turbocharged and it's 190 horsepower, they are going to really steal Honda's, Thunder, and everybody else's. So that would be crazy. Um, that'd be nuts. If they really did get a new transmission in it, I've said it all wrong. I have no problem with the belt drive and the Turbo S. I know some of the older players has had a lot of trouble with their belts, but I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is a new DCT. I think it is definitely possible. Let's see. Yeah, if they're they're pulling, I mean, with the horsepower numbers that everybody's trying to do, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be harder on the belts and the clutches. So I'm going to say it sounds like, I don't know, man. I don't, I'm going to say it's got a new transmission. We'll see. We'll see. I think it's probably a DCT. I think that's going to be the easiest one to to put in there. A manual, I don't think they'd do a manual. Just knowing like the race program, I don't think they'd do a straight up manual. I could see it a DCT, but I don't think, as fun as it is to shift, I, I don't think so, not a full on manual. Uh, let's see, read some of these comments. Non-turbo 200 horsepower motor. Again, I don't think so, because I think they're going to try to stay under a thousand cc's um, and they have to be carb compliant and all this stuff. And I just think it's going to be too heavy to try to do a NA 200 horsepower motor. It's possible, but I kind of doubt it. I think it's going to be a thousand turbo uh, newly designed personally. The world's best belt that's full throttle tested. Man, my belt, like I said, the belt, you know, belt, it's how you drive. If you drive smooth, your belt will last. As long as your clutching is set up right and you didn't change the weight on, on like your rotating mass, most of the most of the belt stuff has been good on my rig. I haven't had any problems. Um, let's see. So new transmission, I'm going with yes. We'll go back to this on Sunday and look at it. But um, suspension, do you guys, do you guys think they're going to change like shocks? Suspension geometry, it's probably still gonna be 72 inches wide, I would say. I don't think they'll go any wider. Um, but they'll probably just use their current shock setup. They'll probably just have a Fox and like a Walker Evans edition, I would say. Um, but I bet they've beefed up some stuff on the suspension components. You gotta remember too, you know, for racing, they've got to, if they if they change the geometry and they make it better for racing, they can use it on their race cars. Because as a race car, uh, in the race car, you have to use your stock pickup points. You can change a lot of the car, but you have to use all your stock pickup points. So they may have changed the way the suspension works, and I bet they've made things stronger in it, in like some of the arms and the trailing arms and stuff. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I bet they beefed up the chassis and I bet you they've done a really strong cage. I wonder if the cage might be even strong enough to uh, pass like on a sportsman tech, like you don't have to change your cage. Your cage. They've got a lot of crap for their cage in the past. And so I would think, I think they're gonna do a really nice cage on the, on the Turbo S. So hopefully, you know, they they're gonna finally fix some of their motor issues, and I think they're gonna um, they're gonna do a strong cage. That's my prediction, like a nice, super strong cage. Axles and drive lines. I'm gonna go ahead and say they've beefed those up too. Um, I bet it will use the same front diff as the Turbo S. That's just my guess. That diff is bulletproof. 
It's one of my favorite things about the new Turbo S. <laughs> I heard it comes to the fire extinguisher. Yeah, well, hopefully with the new motor, those problems are, are solved, I, I would hope. So I'm sure they thought about that in their engineering. Um, where was I at? Yeah, the diff. I think the front diff is money in the Turbo S, so I don't see why they change it. It's been bulletproof, you know, 3,500 miles on my rig, pounding the crap out of it, and just solid as a rock. So they already have the best diff in the business. Um, full door. Let's see, full doors. I think it's going to have full doors. I think between me and all you guys, we gave them enough, enough uh, shit that they're going to put a full door on it, hopefully. And a lot of you guys will probably still change it to a metal door or something, but I bet it's going to have a full door. So here's something interesting. I was thinking about tire and wheel setup on it. And I was wondering if maybe they, I know they use ITP as one of their, you know, distributors for tires. And next year in Best in the Desert, you can run a 33 inch tire. And I was wondering if they're going to come with 33 inch tires. They could one up Can-Am and put that ITP Coyote 33 on it and it would be that much bigger and better. So, and it is gonna be legal for racing next year. So that'd be pretty cool. Maybe that's just like me wishful thinking, but maybe it comes with a 33 inch tire. That'd be pretty dope. Um, beadlocks. I wish it came with beadlocks, but I bet it's gonna come with the same wheel that's on the Turbo S or something similar, probably something, something cheaper. Let's see. Um, but it'd be sick if it, if it had a bead lock in a 33. Oh my gosh, it'd be so cool. A supercharged inline four. Uh, you've seen a pick of it being five lug, not four lug. That is interesting. It's five lug now. So there, everybody with their spare sets of wheels and tires are screwed. You have to go buy new ones. Interesting. Yeah, five lug. I mean, a five lug's gonna be stronger, so it'll be nice. And hopefully it's like a better uh, wheel stud. A hybrid, yeah, like F1. Um, okay, so beadlock. It'd be cool if it came with beadlock, and it'd be pretty trick if they use that ITP Coyote 33. Uh, let's see. I wonder, so here's a question. You guys, what do you think they added for technology? Because Polaris has been ahead in the technology game with their whole uh, ride command system. I feel like they're going to add some stuff in the technology department, but I'm not sure what they're going to add. But... Maybe some more sensors, maybe a radio, maybe it comes with, with speakers, I don't know. But it'd be interesting to see what kind of Apple CarPlay. Boom, you got it. Um, <laughs> oh, geez. I think they're gonna add something though. Uh, they've been pretty good. I love Polaris technology. As funny as it is, it is freaking awesome. I know these machines are expensive, you're right, but I do love the right command. I've used it racing and like, I love that unit and they're gonna make it even better and, and have more functionality. Uh, let's see. New seats, I think they're gonna do a new seat finally. So no more like, uh, no more Fisher Price seat. I think it's gonna be a little better. I'm sure it's something you can still upgrade, but I think they're gonna finally do um, a better seat in the, in the rig, which is gonna be cool. Be sweet if the cab was wider, more legroom. I agree with you. I love the nimbleness of the RZR, but with me lowering my seat and pushing all the way back, I actually lost legroom. I'm 6'3", and it's a little cramped. I wish I had a little more um, length in the cab would be awesome. So that'd be cool if I got... I think, yeah, I think the current Razor chassis, if I was critiquing it, I would have it be a little bit longer. Um, I think it'd be sweet. Just a little bit more length on it. Let's see. A liquor rope dispenser. Dude, that's a full on Wayne's World, right? Um, a push button start. Uh, yeah, push button start would be cool. I'm sure they probably will do that. That's cool. Yeah, push button start. I like that idea. So I'm going to go ahead and agree with you on that. Push button start it is. More seat height. Yeah. I don't know, I like to be low in the car. Um, I do hate how hard it is to get into the X3, so I don't know, there's things I like about it, but yeah, I wish there was just a little more room that cab side to side and front to back would be really cool. Uh, what else do I got in here? Oh, here's a good one. How much is it gonna cost? How much is a two seat, like fully decked out Turbo S gonna cost 
in 2020. It's going to be expensive, isn't it? Um, 28 999 Ugh. Probably. Probably 28 999 That's my guess. 27 5 28 grand. Yeah, we're all we're all right there. I mean, if it's got all the, if it's like loaded, it's got a DCT, it's got all the stuff. Thirty four. Oh shit! I hope I hope not. I mean, I get if it's race legal at thirty four, then I'll consider it because you guys saw how expensive it is to race. But uh, I'm thinking they got to be careful with their price point. I'm hoping twenty twenty eight ninety ninety nine is probably what it's going to be. Uh, I think two cylinder. I've heard a lot of rumors. I heard it was like, I heard a KTM three cylinder as one of the rumors, but I, I think it's going to be a twin, a thousand CC twin turbo. That's what I think, but it, I could be, I mean, I could be wrong, but uh, let's see how many new models do you think they're, they're going to come out with? I mean, I know, I know we've got a badass one coming. Um, you'll notice on Instagram, all the racers like you everybody's doing a rebuild on their car right now. Um, we got Vegas Arena coming up here in under 30 days, like three weeks, yeah, three, four weeks. And everybody's taking pictures of the front and the side of their car. And they're all doing like full teardown rebuilds, which is like, I mean, I guess it's mid season break, but once the, I believe once the Polaris is released, that engine will become legal. And even if it's not like the full chassis isn't the new Turbo S, they can take that motor and throw it in their car. So I think you're going to see all these factory riders rocking the new drivetrain to Vegas Torino, which will be pretty freaking trick. And Ken M, I'm sure, is putting the new motors in their rigs too. So it's going to be a it's going to be a cool race, a really cool race. RZR North Star. Yeah, I don't know what you want to talk about that. Let's see. Three cylinder would be cool. You know, I've always, I, I love my Polaris motor, but the can motor has always been a notch above Polaris. And we'll see what happens uh, with this release. Let's see. Three to 500 horsepower would be nice. You're crazy, Ryan. You, uh, I, you already have your rig so beefed up. Nuts. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a nice market for used turbo S's, huh? All these guys have been holding on to their 16 uh, turbo. You're going to get a good deal on a turbo S here in the next couple of weeks, it sounds like. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I wonder what else is going to come out with it. Is there going to be other, any other cool models besides the turbo S? I'm sure there'll be a couple different things. I still think there's going to be a turbo to RS1. I still, I, maybe I'm just hopeful, but I hope that there is... I think they can take all their old Turbo S stuff, so their old arms, the diff, the drivetrain, the axles, and the 168 horsepower motor, and throw that into an RS1. And I am guessing, this is a pure guess, but I'm guessing that's in September. Can-Am and Polaris like to throw that, that little special model kind of in fall out, and it would be really cool to see a Turbo S later this year, or a RS1 Turbo S later this year. That needs a V8, yeah. Three cylinder would be great. I don't know if it's gonna be a three cylinder, but I, I, I would be stoked if it was. If it was a DCT, can you imagine how pissed Honda is gonna be? I mean, they're gonna be close to 200 horsepower with a DCT. I mean, they're gonna steal Honda's thunder like crazy. Honda's that that Honda car is cool. I liked it. It had good quality, but dude, it needs more power. Everybody's like, oh, it doesn't need power. All these journalists like. It needs more power, dude. It's 100 horsepower. It's just like the Arctic Cat. It's just like the Yamaha. They're fun. They're engaging, but it needs more than 100 horsepower. So if Polaris brings that 200 horsepower-ish machine with the DCT, dude, it's going to be it's gonna be game, all, game over. But, yeah, I wish it had Beadlux. Dude, the RS1, Ryan, can you imagine... A souped up RS1 single seater with like you and a couple of your buddies just ripping the dunes. Like I just think it's like the new Banshee, but you sit in it instead of on it, it would be legit. Uh, let's see. I was gonna tell that to you guys too. If anybody's want a Turbo S, man, 
The Turbo S Velocity is legit. All the racers use the Velocity shocks. I'd say 80% of the big time racers for Polaris are running the Velocity shocks. Only a few guys are running the Fox um, Ride Command shocks. And I love the Fox, but trust me, that Turbo S, there I'm seeing those things for like 21 grand. Uh, you can get a Turbo S Velocity. You can throw your own cage on it and your own set of wheels and tires, and you can add Ride Command and like. Those velocity shocks are legit, guys. So you're going to see some crazy deals in the next weeks on those. And if you guys don't like the way the new one looks or whatever, go just go freaking get a badass velocity turbo S. I mean, it's a good machine. That's a, that's a good a good rig. RS1 DCT. <laughs> that would be sick. Uh, dynamic systems for all models. This is a, this is a, what I'm kind of getting off subject here, but I do think it'd be cool to have like a general that was like super strong with a turboed motor and like a full cab. I know we're talking about like, we're basically getting into manufacturing cars, but I do think that would be badass to have like your all round utility one with badass suspension and a turbo motor would be pretty sick. Players make it. Uh, let's see, live valve. Yeah, I think it will be live valve RS1, which would be so, so freaking cool. Live valve with all the Turbo S stuff on the RS1. Oh my gosh, dude. I I think that'd be so legit right there. Turbo RS1 <laughs> increases divorce rates. I know, dude. I can already feel my pocketbook uh, getting really light over the next uh, month here because I got more than one machine that I would like to buy. <laughs> Oh gosh, Kawasaki. I really hope that Kawi is good, but let's be honest, guys. It's gonna. I think it's gonna be a freaking hundred horsepower. I just don't. I just. I hope. I hope they blow my mind, but I think it's gonna be another Honda thing. They'll be like, it doesn't need more power. And then, um, yeah, I just can't. I can't do a hundred horsepower. Uh, let's see. I think I will know some stuff on the 27th, but I can't, I won't be able to talk about it, but I'll be getting a video ready. I know crap right now. Would I buy another Can-Am? Yeah, I would totally buy another Can-Am. I love my Can-Am and that might be on the forecast. We'll see. Uh, yeah, yeah, a 750, I mean, dude, it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna do anything for me. So like, I, I still feel like Honda should have came out and should have like shocked us like, but they just wouldn't do it. They should have came out with their Halo machine first and then trickled down. But everybody likes to bring out like, oh, we're not competing with that one. We're doing this one. It's like, just bring out the best one. Show us show us what your engineering team can do and then you can trickle down. But I, I doubt the I doubt the Cali will be doing, I don't know. If it is badass, I'll buy it. But I doubt it. Let's see what else we got. My next race, so I'm gonna crew chief uh, for the Can-Am team on Vegas to Reno. So for Ram Racing, so I'll be running, I'll be chasing. It's a pretty fun race to chase actually, I'm trying to keep that car going and make it 550 miles. So we'll be out there competing with the Polarises. It'll be pretty fun. Um, and then after that, I have a local race, it's called Boar. Uh, it's called Knolls. It's pretty cool. It's on the salt flats. You got the big whoop sections and these wide open salt flats. I don't know if any of you guys saw my class one video, but it's basically that race. I'm going to run it in the Razor this year. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, and that's just right after, I think it's the week after Vegas Torino. And then I'm actually second in the freaking sportsman's championship. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'd be first if I I didn't realize they um, included the Mint 400 and I didn't race the Mint 400. I'd probably be in first place. So I've got a race in, um, I think it's October, September, October, back at the UTV World Championship course. It's at night and I'm going to be going for freaking first place. I'm going to be hitting it hard because if I win it, there's a chance I could get first in the championship, which would be cool. So, uh, James, you'll be out in those. Hell yeah, James, you're freaking fast. You need to slow down, buddy. No more, no more flipping over. You're crazy. Uh, let's see. Can't wait till I get my next. Yeah, the Turbo RR. 
like I said, Can-Am has always produced a very potent motor. And, you know, the thing I like about that Can-Am is that they didn't just do like a tune it. They actually redid the whole motor pretty much. And so there's going to be guys that tune it and it's going to be legit. Yeah, they're not using the slingshot motor due to rags. Yeah, airbags and crap like that. Yeah, it's just too big too. That's an Ecotec. That's a, that's a Chevy Cobalt motor. I just don't. <laughs> Recession. Uh, last week's man. They're still sore, dude. Yeah, dude. Did you guys see James Moore at the Min 400 just flipping end to end like brutal? The guy's maniac. He's a maniac. Your bumper, you need a bumper that's a little bit tighter on that thing. That was rough, dude. I was, oh, that was freaking rough. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's all I got. I just thought it'd be fun to talk about. I think we're gonna get a pretty cool machine. We'll see. We'll see what comes out. Uh, if you guys got any other questions for me, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, let's see. So, uh, I still love all the enthusiast stuff too, but I just thought it'd be fun to do a build. Uh, I started having fun getting the car ready for Baja 1000 pre-running. And then I just thought it'd be fun to race. I was sick of uh, helping all my buddies win and I wanted to go race myself. And I don't know if I'll go into like the pro category, but just racing sportsman's just a blast. You know, it costs a little money, but it's it's just fun, man. And uh, yeah, I just love it. So I still love going for rides and I still, you know, that's why my, my Razor has doors. I went for a cool ride yesterday. I'll try to post it for you guys, but I like them both. You know, I just, I think... It's just fun to push yourself and race. And it's really cool when you race, you learn your car, man. I've just learned so much about the Turbo S and like all the little weak points and how to fix everything up. And it just makes it such a, now I'm going to drive my race car on the trail, which is badass. Like, I feel like I am in freaking the coolest side by side. Everybody else is like getting the crap beat out of them on the trail. And my thing is just like floating over stuff like nothing. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I like both. I like racing and I like just riding for my buddies. Just been busy. I have I run a business. I wish I could ride more, but let's see. See it knows James. I think Turbo S is gonna be a West Coast machine. You know, I think that's a it's a race machine. You know, it's built it's built for for competing and promoting their brand. Like that's their Halo machine. So it's gonna be a West Coast machine for sure. Uh Yeah, I'm not sure. Who knows, man? I kind of wonder if some of the stuff is like planned, but Polaris has been um, Polaris has been putting they're hyping this thing big time. So I hope it's as good as they are saying it's going to be or acting like it's going to be because they're I think they had this machine in the works actually like two years ago. So I think. Uh, I talked to a couple of the guys and because of their recalls and stuff, they have like a product plan for like 10 years. And I think that they were planning on putting this out like probably 2018. And then it got pushed back because of all the recalls and bull crap. And so I think the Turbo S was actually like the Band-Aid machine. Like they had to get something out to compete with the X3. And it ended up just being like a rad machine. They just totally beefed up one of their older chassis and put some new stuff in it and just made it awesome. And I think it was fairly simple for them to do that. And then it gave them these extra two years to get out this bad boy. So that's that's what I that's my theory. Again, I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm guessing. Shock therapy, yeah, well, maybe. Let's see. I don't have crap for sponsors, man. I have, uh, I have, a, I got a few. HMF hooked me up. Polaris was super cool on the Turbo S. They sent me a ton of parts. Um, like I can't, I can't be more appreciative. Like the guys at Polaris were super cool to me. I'm not just saying that. I mean, they just, I mean, I guess maybe they had some incentive or something. But I'm always honest, no matter what. But they were freaking cool. I gotta say that Polaris guys were cool. Uh, my friend at BRP Moto hooked me up with some parts. Um, yeah, man, just had some good friends, but yeah, I don't really have much for sponsors. I got a couple, but mostly it's just me and yeah, players, players did a lot. So I didn't give them a lot of credit, but let's see. I love the sparkle wheel. I, I hope so. I think it's so cool. Just like cars, when they use like 
aftermarket parts from the factory in a car or a, a side by side, I think it's freaking badass. So I, I love the sparkle wheel. It's probably like one of my favorite things on that thing. So let's see. One thing I think Polaris should change, well, it would be doors, full doors and good seats. So I hope that they have both of those fixed. Um, what else do I think Polaris should change? I actually even really like the old motor, but I mean, who doesn't want more power? Man, I've been pretty happy with that thing. What What is something that they could change on it? I think doors and seats. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, let's see. Helps me stay in the car when the seats flop around. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I would like, I like a good seat. I love my PRP seats. Stronger suspension. The suspension has been pretty good. I, uh, mine got G'd out by a journalist before they let me buy it. And so it had one bent top arm. But really, I just changed to the Cognito stuff just to give myself a little more confidence when I do hit something. But I, I think the turbo suspension is legit. It's pretty good. So I think the arms are pretty strong. I think if, it's just like I said in last night's video, if I was going to do, if you didn't want to spend the money that I spent, just buy the top front A arms because that's where your shock bolts to and that's what takes the most of the pressure. If you change those, like, I think you're dialed. Uh, let's see. Dual retainer stats on seats. All right, guys, you guys got anything else for me? I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. I think I've talked about most stuff, but I think it'll be fun to go back and look at this video and kind of just see where we end up. Because like I said, I don't know crap, just like you guys don't. And it'll be fun to see when it comes out, what they've changed, what they've added, and if it's as cool as they've hyped it up to be. But anyways. Cool. Well, this is fun. I hope this worked out. I hope my, I hope that came across good. Are there any cool places to ride in Arizona, man? I have no clue where to ride in Arizona. Yeah, give us a, oh, a year, year. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. One of those. Yeah, when I'm smoking dudes and that flipped me off <laughs> and freaking. World Champs, dude, the World Champs was so fun. Uh, Glamis is in California. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks. I'm excited. I'm going to put up a few more videos. I went for a ride yesterday. I'll throw that up. I got a couple projects I'm going to work on on the Turbo S. Um, and uh, just try to have some fun this week. We'll just call it a Polaris, a Polaris week until the launch. I think it's going to be cool. Uh, I got a lot of things in the works in the next couple weeks, so it's going to be fun. Appreciate all you guys. Thanks for all the love on the videos and the channel. And uh, yeah, man, we'll uh, we'll see you guys later. Okay, peace.